Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the virtual memory page file settings on your Windows 7 computer. So this is a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So if your computer is a little bit slow and especially if you're using less than 4 gigabytes of RAM to run your computer, this tutorial will hopefully be able to benefit you the most. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you want to type into the start menu system one of the best matches underneath control panel should say system you want to left click on that when you get to a screen that looks like this you want to go on the left side and left click on advanced system settings now underneath performance visual effects processor scheduling memory usage and virtual memory left click on the settings button right here Left click on the advanced tab at the top, and then underneath virtual memory, where it says a paging file is an area that the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM, left click on change. Now you want to uncheck this box. This is automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Select custom size right here. For the initial size value to put in this field, I'd recommend putting in the recommended value right here, which is 1534 in my case. Might be different for you. Keep in mind this is in megabytes. And now I'm going to go back to the system window here. And I see that I have one gigabyte of RAM installed. So I'm going to open up a calculator on here. The general rule, or at least the rule I kind of follow, is 1024 megabytes, which is one gigabyte. And I'd recommend multiplying whatever this is by 1.5. This is no set rule. Some people will say more or less, depending on who you ask. But I'm just going to say one and a half. So I get 1536. So I'm going to go back into that screen right here, and I'm going to type in 1536. Again, it's going to depend on how much is in here. This number is very important for what we're doing in today's tutorial. Once you've selected that, select the Set button, so just left click on it one time. Left click on OK. You're going to have to restart your computer to apply the change. Just click on OK. Click on Apply and OK as well, and then OK. And now I would recommend you guys restart your computer at this time. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.